Alexa, turn on all the lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off the cabinet lights. Okay. This is the overview of the 2018 smart home that I did. So let's get started. I promised that I'd do a video overviewing the smart home that I did. This is my parents' house that I wired and I did all this work myself. Everything that you see here in the rack, I did. None of the work was contracted out. All the programming, etc. was all done by me. There's so much to talk about this system. I could probably talk about this for several hours, but I'm, I'm going to try and keep this overview video short and then any questions that you guys have or want me to go more in depth in any of these other components, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to do more videos. But for now, I, I want this one to just be an overview so I don't try to make it too long. So I guess to start off, I'm just going to go from uh, top down and talk about the components that I have in the rack here. And um, I know I'm going to miss some things, but if you, like I said, if you have questions, just leave them in the comments and I'm, I'm pretty good about reading all the comments. So uh, this rack is a 42U trip light rack. I think I got it on Amazon or eBay. It's a pretty nice rack. Starting from the top here, we've got three um, cantilever shelves. So all these are just metal shelves um, that are store some of the components that I have. So up top here, we've got the home automation lighting controller. So this controller is the Insteon ISY994i. And I'm gonna link, leave links for everything in the description. This little guy does all of the lighting automation. So for example, we have a smart switch right here in this network room. Um, when I shut the door, the light goes off. When I open it, the light comes on. All of that was programmed using Insteon smart switches um, and the ISY controller. Uh, it's a very powerful controller. You can do many, many different things with that. So I'll leave that link in the description. Any questions, let me know on that. So moving down, we've got two HD Home Run Primes. These are what do uh, cable streaming on the network. So that way you can watch cable anywhere on the house, whether it's on the Wi-Fi or the computers that are um, in the living room upstairs and downstairs. So they, we use Windows Media Center. My parents do. I don't, I don't live here. But we've got two of those. Each one has three tuners in it, so you can watch or record a combination of uh, six shows at any given time. So these little devices are through Cox Communications and it does the um, decoding for HD signals and they're just plugged into this. But the main devices here are the HD Home Run Primes. So moving down, we've got the uh, a Motorola surfboard modem and then the router. This is an edge router by Ubiquity. It is the ER light dash three. So this cable here coming in is from the router. And then we've got two different subnets of network. We, and the reason why we've got two is because we're feeding one subnet for the cameras that are around the house. And then the rest are for all the rooms, the Wi-Fi, um, pretty much everything else is on the other subnet. And so that's what this guy does. It's a very powerful router can route very fast and given the, all the video and stuff on the network decided to go with that and so far I've been really happy I don't have any complaints with that got two Furman M8X2's these are just um, power surge protectors and in the back I think there's a yeah there's eight ports so I needed more outlets so we've got one here in the rack and then down further, we've got another Furman in the rack. Then we've got an HP 48 port gigabit switch. That's this guy here. Nothing too spectacular about that. It does gigabit. We've got just a cable management panel here. Then we've got a 48 port Cat6 punch panel, punch down panel. We got another cable management. 
table management layer here just to keep things nice and neat and then underneath there we've got a 24 port poe hp switch and that powers and provides data to all the cameras around the house there's 10 cameras moving down we've got the network video recorder this thing has i believe 16 terabytes it's got four hard drives in it that all the video records to all of the all 10 cameras you can see we've got 10 lights there all 10 cameras they record 24 7 and we get about when I say we, they, <laughs> my parents get about almost 30 days worth of continuous recording on the NVR. That's a 16 channel, so we could have some more cameras on there, given you know that the NVR handles the bandwidth, but there could be more cameras. Then, moving down, uh, like I said, we've got the other Furman, and then we've got two Dayton Audio DAX66. These are whole home audio amplifiers. And um, I did a video detailing this, so check out my uh, videos. I do talk more in depth about these whole home audio amplifiers. Uh, really nice systems. So I'll, I'll go and probably demonstrate that. So yeah, this is, this is the overview here. I've got a monitor on the right hand side that's hooked up um, to the network video recorder. And you can see the output of the cameras there. I'll try to show the cabling here. So something I did, I told the builder when they built this house, I, um, I told them to put two pipes running from the basement here, because we're in the basement, all the way to the attic. And so there's one, there's the other. So that way, in the event we ever needed to do more runs, we could actually go from the basement all the way to the attic and uh, throughout the house as long as it's not in the basement because the basement's all finished so but we can get to anything else up in the upstairs yeah so that was a pretty quick overview i've got a raspberry pi hanging on the side here this is running the ubiquity unify controller because there's um, an access point right there and then there's an access point upstairs i'll just go ahead and go upstairs and show you that i've got some music playing down here so here's one zone of audio. There's a there's 12 zones in the house. So here's one. There's the panel on the wall. There's zone two. There's the speakers down here for that. Let's go upstairs and I'll just tell you where the zones are because I'm not gonna go around and tell you all of them, but show you all of them. But here's the uh, upstairs. There's another zone. The kitchen. There's another zone. You can control the lights all from this iPad that I put on the wall right here. There's an ethernet cable behind the wall that provides power to the iPad, and so it's always charging. If I want to turn on the kitchen, I can turn that on here, the living room, turn on the audio. So now we've got that playing here. I'll briefly demonstrate the um, MobiLink app. So this is how you can control the lights. Um, I got the garage door hooked up and there's leak sensors throughout the house. Open close sensors. Um, yeah, so we can control the audio video Let's see yeah that's a quick overview so like i said there's 12 zones so we've got the master bedroom master bathroom upstairs guest bedroom both downstairs bedrooms uh, the garage the patio uh, living room yeah pretty much every room except for the guest bathrooms have audio And there are sources, audio sources, throughout the house. So RCA audio sources, so you can cast wirelessly to the amplifiers. Um, let's see, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. I know I am. 
So real quick, I'll just show you like the patch panel back here. So all of this is Cat 6. Everything for them, the rooms, everything patches into here, including the cameras. And then um, that's what we've got here in the front for the cable management. We're just jumping the wires up to the switch. So yeah, pretty much everything in the house is pretty much connected. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. The other uh, Wi-Fi access point, so we've got one down here. The other Ubiquiti access point is upstairs in the pantry. The pantry was a good centralized location. That way we cover all the house. All the coax runs downstairs, and then there's just uh, two centralized coax that go to the side of the house. So there's the other access point, and you notice that the light came on and off automatically. Part of the home automation stuff. So these are the these are the smart switches. They're paddle switches. They're really nice. Not everything is has the smart switches. Like for example, this is a fan for the living room. There's no reason to spend money because each one of these is $50, so. Not everything is smart connected on the lights, just a lot of the main stuff is connected. And then I've got routines that when they're on vacation, will cycle through the lights so that way it looks like they're home. So, yep. I'd say that pretty much does it for a, an overview. I'll go more into depth if anybody has questions, but I just wanted to show you guys this smart home that I did. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed just seeing what I did and any specifics, let me know. Thanks guys. Alexa, turn off all the lights. Okay.